Hello and welcome to this pre-recorded feedback event for GCE Physical Education Unit 1 from the June 2015 exam series. To help you get the most out of this feedback, you may want to have the following documents handy, as we will refer to them during the session. 2015 GCE PE Question Paper 2015 GCE PE Mark Scheme Lead Examiner's Report Here are the aims and objectives of this training session. You will receive feedback on national performance of candidates in Unit 1, consider the variation of candidates' performance on different questions and possible reasons why, discuss the lead examiner's report, find out about further support available, address common issues and FAQs. The question paper is made up of a variety of question types, including one-mark recall questions and two, three and four-mark questions, requiring recall and application of knowledge to achieve maximum marks. There are more stretching questions worth five and six marks. Finally, there are the extended answer questions worth 12 marks, which require learners to present lengthy, connected points or arguments relevant to the question context. This presentation will look at a number of these different types of questions and learner performance. The first question we shall consider is question 2 on page 3 of the question paper. This was a straightforward question, as candidates were required to define the term sedentary lifestyle. They then had to explain why a sedentary lifestyle is a contemporary concern. As you can see from the example, some learners gave excellent responses, gaining full marks. In this example, credit is given for 2A, as the learner states, a lifestyle that is lacking in physical activity, for one mark. Then in 2B, Credit is given for topical issue of relevance in today's society, increase in hypokinetic disorders, poor diet, is a strain on NHS, to gain the maximum four marks. In this response, the learner has gained one mark in 2A, for a lifestyle that does not include physical activity. They went on to gain all four marks available for 2B by writing leads to obesity, unhealthy diet, sedentary lifestyles increase risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, coronary heart disease, illness, and more pressure on NHS. This learner gains one mark in 2A for a lifestyle lacking in physical activity. However, they only get one mark for 2B when they state sedentary lifestyle has become a concern in recent years. There is no rewardable material present in the rest of the response. Learners who did well on this question applied their knowledge to the question context. For example, they could define sedentary lifestyle, selected appropriate reasons as to why sedentary lifestyle is a contemporary concern. Most candidates showed an understanding of society becoming more sedentary for some credit, but this could be improved by extending the response to give the consequences of this. Further examples of learner responses can be found in the lead examiner's report.
An example of a describe type question is question six B one and two, and each part of the question is credited with three marks. Knowledge needs to be applied and described to gain maximum marks. Many students listed characteristics of activities or listed characteristics of life during the periods of time. However, the question asks candidates to describe how the physical activities reflected British society. Consequently, the two concepts had to be linked in order to score the marks. Linking words were helpful for the examiner. See underlined. In this first example, the candidate scores all three marks for question six B one. They describe the fact that lack of transport caused the activities to be localized. They were rural as people lived in the countryside, and cruel as society was cruel at the time. A further three marks were awarded for question six B two, where the learner had correctly described the facts that there was education to make rules and write them down, making a link between the fact that now educated the populace could read them. They had boundaries with fewer players due to lack of space, and that they became regular. As everyone had Saturday afternoon off. Maximum marks were awarded for this answer. Question six B one gained three marks for localized, as there was a lack of transport, cruel, as reflected barbaric society, and games were uncoded, as majority were illiterate. A further three marks were awarded for question six B two, for less violent, as there was a need for a healthy workforce. Boundaries were created due to lack of space, and education was compulsory, and rules could be written down. This learner gained no marks on either part of the question. There was no rewardable material because in both question six B one and question six B two, they failed to link the physical activities descriptions to how they reflected society at the time. For example, in question six B one, they correctly described that pre-industrial physical activities had few rules. But then, did not make a correct link to how this reflected the society at the time, such as they were uneducated. Learners did well on this question because they linked their response to the question context. They correctly described how physical activities carried out during both the pre. And post-industrial revolution reflected British society at that time. They showed an understanding of the need to extend their response, but responses could be improved by being more specific. For example, by providing clearer examples or linkage between statements. Activity one. Question seven. This question required learners to explain what is meant by the phrase "exporting the games ethic." The purpose of this activity is to give you the opportunity to look at an aspect of the mark scheme in more detail, and to see how the mark scheme is applied for these types of questions. That is, knowledge is grouped. Therefore, not every correct statement or fact is credited if it repeats the same type of information. Using this example, apply the mark scheme provided to decide what mark you think should be awarded and why. Pause the video now if you wish to carry out the activity.
Activity 1, question 7, was a true mark of 5. There are important points to note regarding this question. There are 6 marks available. Therefore, learners should consider 6 different points that can be made. In this example, the learner gains credit for point 6 on the mark scheme, that is, taking part. Point 8, as public school boys took games to university. Point 12, for students left university and created work teams. Point 11, for reference to national governing bodies. And point 10, for mention of national rules. No further credit was given to this response. That is, no credit for sportsmanship or the Olympics. Thus, the learner gained five of the available six marks. On this question, successful candidates use specific examples linked to the given context. Used accurate vocabulary, for example, melting pot, oxbridge could explain the phrase exporting the game's ethic. On this question, less successful candidates struggled with an understanding of what exporting means, failed to relate their answers to the given context, used inaccurate technical vocabulary, failed to explain what is meant by the phrase exporting the game's ethic fail to give the appropriate amount of answers for the marks required. Maximum marks were awarded for this answer. Question 8C gained 5 marks for Age of 7 children were screened. Those who performed best were sent to training schools. At age 10 sent to boarding. Two hours of academic work and six hours of training. And institutes of sport. The learner gained all five marks for this comprehensive answer. Marks were awarded for screening and tests for seven-year-olds. National Federation of Sport would analyse the results. Age 10, they would go to sports boarding schools. Six hours of sport and two hours of lessons. And annual sport yards. This learner only scored one mark for screening at the age of seven. There is no further rewardable material present. As the learner says that after screening, they were sent to sport academy camps, which is too vague. According to the mark scheme, they would need to say that they were invited to attend local training centres several times a week, if progress was good. Then at 10 years old, they would be transferred to a sports boarding school, etc. Learners did well on this question because they accurately outlined the process used by East Germany, used correct vocabulary, for example, National Sports Federation, sport yards, could link their response to the question context, gave the appropriate amount of answers for the marks required. Learners did not do well on this question because they failed to relate their answers to the given context, used inaccurate vocabulary, failed to outline the process used by East Germany to identify and develop sporting talent, instead just explained why they did it, for example for shop window effect, etc., failed to give the appropriate amount of answers for the marks required. As with Activity 1, the purpose of this activity is to give you the opportunity to look at the mark scheme in more detail and to see how it is applied for levels-based questions.
Due to the length of the response, it is shown over two slides. Therefore, once you have finished reading each slide, restart the presentation to progress to the next screen, and then pause. Before looking at these, it is helpful first to consider the different types of mark scheme that are used within the paper. An understanding of the mark scheme should clarify the assessment demands of these types of question. The reason for the two approaches to marking is because different questions test different skills. All of the questions we have looked at so far have used a points-based approach to marking. However, levels-based mark schemes are used when the possible scope of responses are not limited, when it is not possible to think of every possible correct answer, or when we need to make judgments about how well a response addresses discursive or evaluative questions. This question required learners to explain the advantages and disadvantages associated with the level of commercialization in modern sport. It requires a longer answer and is worth 12 marks. Take time to read through the indicative content for question 9 and look at the level descriptors that are there to help you. Use the mark scheme to decide what mark you think this example should be awarded and why. Pause the video now if you wish to carry out the activity. This is the second part of the student response. Don't forget to pause the presentation if you are completing the activity. Activity 2. Question 9 was a true mark of 10, which means that it is a level 4 answer. The learner has produced a comprehensive explanation that is coherent and includes good detail. It is worth noting that although not all points on the mark scheme are covered here, that this is not essential. The indicative content is only a guide to the responses learners may give. Other valid responses, which answer the question correctly, can be credited as appropriate. For example, the learner has made the link between a massive spectator base and influential media with the changing nature of some sports to make them fast-paced and exciting. They have also produced a counter-argument to point three on the mark scheme that a disadvantage would be that some minority sports are in danger of becoming sidelined. The answer is balanced. For example, it gives equal measure to the advantages and the disadvantages associated with the level of commercialization in modern sport. There is a brief introduction and conclusion present, which, whilst not compulsory, add to the structure of the answer. The learner has shown use of subject-specific terminology, which is used with minimal error in its application. Overall, the answer is insightful, realistic and current. The learner has produced an explanation to the question set which shows clear and effective structure with minimal errors in spelling, punctuation and grammar. Activity 2. Question 9 continued. It is usually a good idea to read the answer through more than once whilst referring to the indicative content and level descriptors, before deciding upon a mark. Question 9. Why candidates did well? They discussed the advantages and the disadvantages associated with the level of commercialization in modern sport in equal measure gave a comprehensive explanation that was coherent and included full detail.
the subject-specific terminology was used with minimal error, showed original thought, and where appropriate, supplied up-to-date and relevant examples to support their argument, wrote responses which had clear and effective structure, with minimal errors in spelling, punctuation and grammar. Question 9. Why candidates didn't do so well? Some failed to link the points they were making to develop their argument. Some gave unbalanced answers, focusing on either the advantages or the disadvantages, but not both, which they were required to do. Some focused on one aspect of deviance, such as drug-taking, rather than making a range of points about the possible rise of deviance. Many learners simply wrote an answer which did not relate specifically to the question asked. Others penned answers that were formulaic with bland assertions and no debate or analysis of the topic concerned. Common issues Not making enough use of the given scenario within answers. Answers should be contextual. Variable quality, accuracy and level of content in the answers produced. Generic, prepared answers. Examples not being specific enough to the requirement of the question. Variable understanding of technical vocabulary. A lack of clarity in explanations or examples makes it difficult to establish if the learner really understands. Learners do not always develop their responses, even when the mark range and phrasing of the question shows a more in-depth response is required. Dropped marks by not giving enough points to cover the score for the question. In summary, Opinion equals low band. Opinion plus substantiated equals mid band. Opinion substantiated plus example equals high band. Opinion substantiated contrasting examples plus balanced argument equals top band. Statistics. If you would like to know more about examination statistics, you may find these links of interest to you. Examination results statistics. Results statistics summarize the overall grade outcomes of candidates sitting Edexcel examinations. Grade boundaries. This page shows the minimum marks needed to achieve a certain grade for all UK and international examinations. Also refer to the Lead Examiner's Report, which is available for download with other documents. GCSE and GCE Reform. What's changing? New GCSEs for 2015. GCSE English Subjects and Maths are changing first for first teaching in September 2015, with first assessments in summer 2017. New A-levels and AS qualifications for 2015. GCEs for a range of subjects are changing first for first teaching in September 2015, with first assessments in summer 2017. We have just published our specifications on the Edexcel website. They have been published early in draft form to enable teachers to have early sight of our proposed approach. We are also running a series of launch events too. Our draft specs and SAMs, as well as further information about our launch events, can be found on edexcel.com. Other GCSE and GCE subjects following in 2016 
and 2017. Thank you.